YouTube video it is your girl Lin Wei and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. In today's video as you can tell by the title I'm so excited. <laughs> well um I finally watched War Room. Um I know the movie was released like mm, approximately seven years ago. I only managed to watch the entire movie this past weekend. Does that make me a bad Christian? No. <laughs> I don't know why I had to make that clear. But anyway, so I felt very inspired to create my own war room. Because it's funny because I was already like doing that. Um, if you've watched my previous um, room tours, you have seen that I tend to put a lot of scripture all around my room. Uh, as you see my timetable in one of my videos, it has scripture all around it. Like my vision board, scripture, everything has scripture because I believe in the power of the word of the Lord. But the only thing that can come back to the enemy, not necessarily the only thing, but one of the tools or the biggest tool that the Lord has given us to come back to the, the, the lies of the enemy, like whatever the enemy tries to tell you is the word of God because that's the sword of the spirit. That's what you use to dag and stab the enemy. So with that said, I've decided to create a prayer wall. Um, it's funny because I was already like, so I have this little nice section in my room, this part of the room, um, that is, it's tiny but big enough to, you know, have to be a nice wall. So I am going to create a prayer wall. I was going to take you guys through it, but I already like started doing stuff already. To, uh, <laughs> then I was like, let me just shoot a video and show you guys how I'm going to achieve a prayer wall. And today I cleaned my room, I was doing my hair, as you, I showed the video really, but then I didn't like the, the, the video. I felt like it needed more theological backing, and that means that I needed to have prepared prior to shooting the video. So I am going to still shoot the video, but I will be more prepared, so that I give you guys a theologically sound word, and theologically sound wisdom, okay? Because I don't want you guys out here saying I'm telling you lies but anyway back to the point of this video and as you can see I'm playing along with my hair because I did my own hair if you don't know I braid I do hair <laughs> for uh, not for a living but it's one of like it's a, a side business I don't want to call it yeah a side business because it's not a hustle I don't hustle it's side business um and I have a budget for it and I don't plan around it so because it takes my time so it is a business um yeah so i'm just super excited like can you tell can you tell how excited i am uh so i'm just going to show you guys what i've uh, i'll be doing now now and then i will show you when i start placing the stuff on the wall i'm probably just gonna do a voice over when i'm doing the prayer wall itself but yeah i'm just gonna show you now what i already have Okay, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. It's linway underscore, well, it's lin underscore way underscore on Instagram. And then on TikTok, it's linway on TikTok. Literally, just that st statement. I know, wow. And always subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I mean, why would you not? Why would you not? Let's go right into the video. Okay, so far, this is what I was doing right now. So I did, um, well, I go to Planet Shakers. So this is um, our declaration to obviously serve the Lord and believe in the in God and all of that. So I'm going to stick this on my wall as well. Already, like, so then I'm going to use those pictures as well on the wall. Um, then I'm going to leave these scriptures here because they, they, they were very good. They remind me to always choose to live in the spirit. Choose the spirit. And then so when we did Inner Champion, there was like a letter that, you know, the Lord had written for me. All cute. Telling me who I am to him and what I mean to him. And then I created a Google Doc because I felt like it would be neater. And I would be able to put more stuff in one page. So instead of me putting my actual literal prayers i'm gonna put prayer prompts so that will look like scripture and like reminders of who, like as you can see here 
um, my identity, who God says I am. I am made in his image. That's from Genesis 1 verse 27. I'm created and made with intention. I have purpose. That's from Ephesians. Um, well, obviously you can... Let me just cancel this. That's from Ephesians 1, 11 to 12. And like just basically just... Um, so I created multiple categories. So I have one for my identity. I have one for my mm, servanthood. So servanthood is obviously like serving God and serving his people, loving on his people. Basically like the other part of my life that I value, I value very much. So it's a very essential thing. So knowing my identity is important and knowing my purpose in servanthood is very, very essential. So like I have prayer prompts for that. And then I also put my, for my husband. So I'm obviously single and yes, I'm very single. And this is a typical Christian girl type of thing to do, but I'm praying for my future husband, praying for him, praying like basically, uh, praying for my family because it's a very, um, strong, um, very strong and very important relationship that if I desired, I have to prepare and would have prayed for it and then that's for my husband that I have for my kids and that I have for my family so for my family is not just only my immediate family so it's my immediate family my extended family my future family the one that I'm going to create with my kids and then my husband's family so basically like all aspects of family my church family and everyone else involved and then I have for my friends so this is for all types of relationships as well like my friendships my colleagues my like all people that you generally consider your friend underneath here and then for here i have for my purpose so this is um sp like this is this this one ties more in like with servanthood but i think this one i'll focus more on my career like um the things that god has put in my heart like what i need to be doing <coughs> <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> i flew i'm um, sorry about that and yeah that's just basically all the points and then i like cut out some nice stuff from previous posters that i've gotten from church like love thy neighbor i'm gonna use that uh planet boom is the uh youth ministry of planet shakers that's where i serve uh and then i have church courses this i'll probably put this under um servanthood because um i really enjoy church courses and i love them so much so i want to do all of them <laughs> yeah uh, I think that's it. So this is currently the state of the the wall. It just has um, Galatians five verse sixteen to eighteen. It's a scripture that I've been like meditating on for a very long time now, and just like it encourages me to live freely and to live, you know, led by the spirit and really giving into the spirit and like dying to my flesh, which is super cool. So this is where the wall is, and I love the fact that it's. Like, the structure of the wall is in such a way that if I invite someone to my room, they will be sitting there on my beanbag, and they won't see my wall. And then, like, because I generally don't have people over that much. I just have, like, three, four friends that come to my room, and that's always very brief chats. The only people that ever come here and stay for a long time is Anisha and Bushe. They're the only two people that are actually come into my room and I trust them because they pray they're prayerful and yeah I'm very careful with who I allow in my space as well so yeah I hope you guys like enjoy this video and I'm going to show you guys when I'm done or when I'm putting the stuff up probably do a voiceover showing you guys where I'm going to put it and how I want to design it so um yeah I was just showing you like all the stuff that I printed as you saw me like typing up so I typed everything up I highlighted these are not the completed versions of these things. I put them in plastic pockets because when I place them on the wall, I'm going to explain later in the video why I put them there. But they're just going to be such a useful tool. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I was, I'm very excited to see how this turns out. I am so, <clears throat> I am so excited. You have no idea. I finally, well, it's not necessarily complete, but my skeleton prayer wall is coming together it looks so pretty and i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like sorry about that i am listening to podcasts so usually when i am just busy in my room and i'm just cleaning moving around i like to listen to podcasts and one that i'm currently enjoying or a few that i'm currently enjoying is my church's podcast Fire shaker's podcast on apple music or spotify um i don't know where else they have 
like because they just basically upload sermons there which is super cool um just reflecting back on them and then um the youth ministry of my church as well planet boom has the leadership podcast which is so cool because it gives me like insight and insider information about how they lead teenagers and i'm like yes so that is exactly what i need and it just goes about like so many principles and basic things and guidelines of what i can do and how i can be better and just how i can invite god to really use me to his fullest extent and yeah this is don't mind the change in my voice um i don't know if my voice sounds different from yesterday when i shot the first um clip of this but if it does sound different it's probably because i have flu um so my voice sometimes tends to uh, uh, be iffy and stuff and you notice i like to stick a lot of things on my wall so <laughs> i do i did use persic bow stick um yeah bow stick that's the right word bow stick um sticky stuff yeah i usually prefer using that because i am not permanent in any of the red rooms so it's always easy to remove stuff and then i'll show you quickly on how the prayer wall looks as you can already tell from behind like look at look at the difference look at that so cute um so i'm just gonna show you what it looks like right now and yeah hope you guys are enjoying this video as much as i enjoyed making it i know i didn't take you through the nitty gitties of how i made everything but i think i did but i will also just do a quick overview of my prayer uh well my prayers and the scriptures i put on my wall you know you know let's go to the first wall. first things first that you will notice about the wall it has a specific layout and design i intended for it to look like this firstly for multiple reasons and it has uh you saw all my prayer um i gave you like a, a quick category of what that looks like so last year when i completed uh in a champion at planet shakers which is a church course um i got this declaration and i never really like took it out so it just stayed in my prayer book but i just thought it would be a very good edit addition to the prayer wall as a brief reminder of the house I'm serving in, where I'm planted, and just how God wants to use me in that house. So it just simply says, I believe and declare that God needed me together in my mother's womb with love and purpose in mind, which is things I also included when I was uh, putting in my identity. I didn't take them from here. I took them from a completely different, uh, <laughs> which is, it's, it's so crazy. Uh, but like, it's just very biblically based as a declaration. And I believe that I am called and anointed for such a time as this. I declare I have been given power and authority to heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leprous freely, I have received freely, I give. So if you obviously know the multiple scriptures, you definitely know, you know, all of this. So I don't want to take you through too much of it because it's going to be like too long. And this is just um, a scripture that always reminds me that I have the ability to bind and loose whatever, like, so I can bind the enemy and loose the blessings of heaven upon my life so let's go to the top so from the top this is what you see sevenhood my identity and my purpose so under sevenhood i have multiple scriptures that uh, inspire me to serve god and these scriptures i will be praying over them so as you can see i have it's like um a leaflet so the the reason i decided to do this it was such a cool idea is because i can actually have prayers that i privately wouldn't want to display but these like these ones i don't mind being seen that's why i'm telling you guys about them because yeah it's really nothing personal it's just scripture and and my belief so um the personal ones will go behind this which is so cool and then i have this god has a plan for me a uh, scripture from jeremiah 29 verse 11 which is like based on it's the same scripture as this one i'm sorry that my shadow is really getting in the way i just don't know how to get the shot properly um and then saved by grace and then we have my identity then i just like just like i'm still yet to put a lot more on this page because uh, as you can see, this uh, pink thing, I want to write, like, who's my daddy? Like, who is Jesus to me? Because I know who God says I am, but who's God to me? Or 
who is he like outside of me outside of what i think he is what does the bible say my god is you know those type of things so i have that there and then i have the lord directs a step which is not necessarily based on a female but it's about israel and i only found out when no actually no this is about no, this is the right one. Yes, the Lord directs her steps. This is Proverbs 16. Sorry. There's another scripture that um, God is with her and she will not fail. That scripture is not about women, but it's about Israel, which in a way is kind of woman. And then here I just have for my purpose, the cue for your exhaustion is intimacy with Jesus, Priscilla Shire. And then I have seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things will be added unto you. So that's like so here what I did was put the key uh, scriptures that God speaks directly like over my life um so go into the world uh and preach the good news and make disciples of men and baptize them in my name i couldn't get that version which is the matthew one like like i like this one but i prefer the one in matthew uh <laughs> but i couldn't find it so i just put that one and then i have the two ministries i serve under so these are like this is the youth ministry and the young adults ministry and as for me and my household we will serve the lord that's also another big calling well the sister another big foundational scripture that i love and care for and then when you come down to the second quarter of this you will see for my husband and you'll see galatians 5 is 16 to 18 and for my children so i just have these lined up together i don't think i want to get into the nitty gritties of what i have in each of the scriptures so this was already here and i just thought it would be just such a great middle parting even though i would have preferred a cross in the middle but this is also perfect because it's just such a good reminder that i need to choose to live in the spirit it's a decision to wake up and die to yourself so that's one of the reasons why this is still here and then i have the armor of god and i have worry um worry about nothing pray about everything philippians 4 verse 6 and then for my husband i just wrote down things that i you know like scriptural based and just praying over his purpose and career over any form of temptation over his family and relationships i pray for his uh a prayer for his role as a husband and a father a prayer for protection over uh himself and over his character so obviously this is like more futuristic than it is for now so i'm already praying for my husband these are things i've been praying for my husband and my kids since i was like hmm, 17. Uh, basically i've been praying for my husband and kids for a long time because uh it's a desire that is placed in my heart that's why it's so important to me and then i have um a picture like uh, so we have these polaroids that we took at um at church on mother's day so this is my spiritual mother and this is a friend of mine and her brother and then this is uh, another like a friend of mine well with her brothers and my urban life leader and yeah great stuff so i was like there would be such cute edits to this so i probably would add more pictures <laughs> just that i don't print out my pictures and then underneath that i have for my family so i have yeah, for my family, it's all my family. So my family as in my household. Yeah, so I put the foundational scripture, a prayer for protection. And then I put my family, which is like where I was born. Like my, I don't know, what, what do they call that? Like my, I know it has a name. Forgot it. Uh, but I have that. And then I have my husband's family. I wanted to change that to in-laws family, but... Or just my in-laws but yeah then my extended family then my church family i just have various prayers around that then i have this cute thing from love thy neighbor which was <laughs> this i took this from a a, a a what a pamphlet no it's not a pamphlet a little tiny poster it's not a poster but it was like this little thing that we handed out when we we're doing outreach and i just still had left over and i was like that would look so cute let me put it there and then I have pray more, worry less. So that's just like a big reminder to pray since this is a prayer wall. And I thought it would be so important. Actually, let me end with that one. So let me just move to this one. So I have for my friends. So for my friends, I have scriptures that remind me the value of friendship. Uh, a prayer to be a better friend myself because to love others, I need to be able to, well, to be a better friend, I need to be a friend to myself also. And then a prayer for... Uh, for my friends uh, a prayer for bonding a prayer for eternal love a prayer for difficult times and a prayer for success there's multiple prayers like these are prayers that look so i got most of these prayers i got them from um an online um platform so i i obviously like searched and then i wanted like so i wanted all my my prayers 
on this wall to be very scriptural based so i searched when i couldn't find you know for my own whatever and then for my kids i forgot to tell you i also got that from um an internet platform because i don't have kids but i know that i want them to to love the lord <laughs> so <laughs> i just went and found that and it was just perfectly fitting so i can just pray one of the like as the dates are set down there and then to one of the most crucial and most important part of this prayer wall is these prayers so these are prayers that were prayed in the bible these are prayers that are directly from scripture so uh, jabez cried out to the lord of israel oh that you would bless me and enlarge my territory let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that i will be free from this pain and god granted his request so this is like i would what i want to do with this specific wall is recite this these prayers themselves like literally as they are and then add on to what then what does it mean for my situation where do i want god to take me from there and yeah that's just it ladies and gentlemen so when i'm lying down this is what my prayer wall looks like i'm so excited okay that sounded so weird but i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and join the lw squad i, I don't even know like the lw family or just join the Lord's family. I think that's important. Uh, but I hope that this video inspired you to start your own prayer wall if you don't have a closet. And I, I printed most of this stuff out because I have a printer and I have access to that. But if you don't have access to a printer, don't let that stop you. Write all these things down. Like, I usually prefer writing down the reason i printed things down is because i was lazy uh that's just the truth i well as all it also looks aesthetically pleasing and I, I could fit more stuff in a page by typing them so yeah hope you like the video and i'm gonna see you in my next video a video of how many is okay a video